So you don't want to use Replit's database for whatever reason, and that's completely fine. Connecting a different database can be tricky sometimes, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using Supabase step at a time. Before I get started, please go ahead and give this video a like and give me a follow if you want to continue to see more content about how to use AI in your business. Let's dive in. Now this is assuming you already have a Supabase database created and there's a few steps you need to do in Supabase here. First thing is go into your authentication and sign up configuration and make sure that your email sign up has confirm email turned off. That's just for development. I recommend turning it back on for live. And then you will also go to this connect right here and you're going to pull a few pieces of information out of here. The first thing you're going to get is your Supabase URL and your Anon key here. Okay, so you're going to copy those, save them, and then you're going to go to ORMs. Generally speaking, Replit likes Drizzle. So you're going to use the shared connect connection pooler URL and you're going to copy and save that. That's your database URL. Put your password in there. In there. And then you're also going to copy this Drizzle schema. And then you're going to go to App Frameworks, change this to React, and you're going to copy this supabase.ts here. So you're going to need all of those to give to Replit. And then you're going to go into Secrets, which you can get here, and you're going to create a secret with Supabase connection string, which you've collected out of there. You're going to create an Anon key, which you've copied down, and you're going to put in your Supabase URL, which you've also copied down. So you're going to use a prompt like this. I want to add a database for storing user data. I gave it this extra instruction here, which could complicate your process, or you can just have that you want it to store data and explain the data you want it to store. I wanted to go ahead and get the user login built out as well. So then I gave it the drizzle script, just as an example, I gave it the connection string. And in this, I failed to give it the anon key and URL. So it asked for those later, which is fine. You could just include those variables. And you see, we're giving it the variable. We're not giving it the key itself. And then you paste in that React code example, and then just tell it to don't start work, review and tell me if we're missing anything, and it'll go through it. Once it has, see here, it asks for those, which is fine. You can just include those to begin with, and it still may ask you for them. Once it looks like it has it understood, tell it to proceed. And then it'll go through a bunch of stuff to set itself up. And you'll see here it asked me for the secrets again, even though I provided them. So I just had to remind it that those were provided. And then it had a little trouble with what it assumed the environment variables needed to be, but it just went through and fixed that after a little trial and error. And it went ahead and did our email and password sign up as well. So the database was connected at this point. Now, because I asked for user sign in capabilities, there was more troubleshooting that needed to be done to make sure that flow worked. And you're just going to walk through that one at a time. I recommend not taking it too far in the same conversation, start a new chat and continue on. I went on through and just asked it questions to finish getting it through the login capability since I had added that into my directions, but that's not necessary for just connecting the database. You could have left that information out and it would have been fine. Connection would have been done in just a couple minutes. So that's how you add a database from Supabase to your Replit project and they're all connected and the connection is made. Easy as that. It takes a little bit of time for it to run through the steps, but generally speaking, it doesn't need a lot of handholding. It'll just go ahead and follow the information you've provided and get it done. If you liked this or if you found this helpful, please go ahead and give me a follow and drop a comment about what you're building because I love to hear what everybody in the community is building out. Cheers.